Hello everyone and welcome back. We're doing this portion again. We just got to our apartment building. So let's take a little bit of a look around. Get kind of used to the UI, get used to how everything interacts with each other. It seems a lot like The Walking Dead did. Uh, the game kind of highlights everything that you can look at. So that's, that's important. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Yeah, it makes it sound like we have a lot of money. Well, obviously we don't, because we had, 50, what, $58 on us last time? Uh, anyway, last time, we found out we're the big bad wolf. We beat the shit out of the woodsman from the Little Red Riding Hood story. And we rescued a girl from him. Uh, we still do not know exactly who she is. But we gave her all of our money, our matchbook. That was weird looking. You see right there? Like go down the, the shadows kind of do something weird. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Snow. Am I to assume then that this place is ran by Snow White? Seems like everyone still goes by their fable names even though they're trying to, to hide who they are. Hello? Come on nice. out. Well, nice for a gruff sheriff wolf, anyway. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but Ooh, there's an yeah. explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. Can't be too careful these days. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. I wonder if she has to glamour herself. Because even in the story, she's always been human. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just like it. Please. I'm not getting in your mess, lady. Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. I don't know, I'm thinking a lot of things here. Like, um, you're sneaking out to meet another man, that you and Beast are having marital problems. Who knows? I wonder if he's still a beast when he's not glamoured. He had that reverse at the end of the story, right? Very diligent security guard we have here. Grumble. Grumble. Who is that? Why can't you need to dust this guy? <laughs> I can see that. That's a, quite a lot of dust that came off there. All right, let's get this guy woken up. He's a security guard. He probably hey, is not. You wink. Grimble. Hmm. Probably for the best. I'm not familiar with that name, Crimble. I'm gonna have to brush up on my uh, fairy tale characters, apparently. Been a while since I got any mail. Of course, he's going by Big B, and I, doubt, I don't think the Big Bad Wolf was ever named Big B in the story, so maybe. In a row. Maybe some people don't just uh, picked out names. Anyway, let's see. Beast, Mr. and Mrs. at 301. And everything else is marked as private or flycatcher. Okay. Oh, we can walk around. Oh, I, I, I had no idea we could walk around. Oh, me. Damn thing fell off again. Oh, that's why our name wasn't up there. Can we put it up there? 
Oh, I finally got the name Big B because he's big. How much longer is this gonna go on? Big Bad Wolf, Big B. Okay, makes sense. Let's see. We can hold Shift and walk a little bit faster. Sorry, everyone. I'm just kind of trying to get used to the controls, which it seems that this section is for. And I think we've checked out everything we can check out. So let's go on up to our apartment, which was 204. Okay, floor two. I don't think we'll go up to the third floor and go talk to Beast. That seems like a horrible idea. To get in the middle of him and uh, Beauty's little marital issues. Oh, that's how we didn't have the push button. Big B, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? I'm not going to answer him. So, have you? Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry, Beast. <laughs> I'm not getting in your drama, man. I'm just not doing it. Of course, we could have gone without the little smart-ass smirk and we were completely silent there, but I'm getting the feeling that Big Bad Wolf is not the nicest person. Yep, no more calls where we are. Should have cracked a window. We are off the clock. You should take care of your hands there too, man. It looks like you um bruised yourself on that guy's face. Let's take a look at what we got in the fridge. I assume a bunch of raw meat. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Huff and Puff. <laughs> Is that the name of the cigarette company in this world? That's that's fairly interesting, actually. Damn it. Apparently, uh, Mr. Wolf does not eat a lot. If he does, he orders out every all of his meals because he has nothing. <laughs> there's nothing in that fridge, but I can only assume cigarettes. Maybe he survives off tobacco smoke. I don't know. Bluebeard's file. The pirate. Never trusted this guy. Was he a fable? I thought he was a uh, actual person. Maybe not. Yeah, there we go. That's the answer for everyone. Remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Yeah, we should probably throw that out. Oh, yeah, let's turn this fan on too. It's apparently very hot in here. Should help. Um. Okay. So we also the big bad wolf from the three little pigs. Use Colin. Uh, huh. Hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Yeah, I, I only have the. I've only got the one. Yeah. So yeah. What are you doing in my house? Got a smoke? Come on, let's man have a smoke. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. 
You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Nothing. Because he knows better. Probably. That for me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped these some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Nice. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. I get a feeling this is the kind of guy that, um... So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> yeah, be on the press, Colin. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Oh, look, man, I'm, I'm trying, all right? <laughs> Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself, but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. That's not right, that that doesn't make Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. You let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Must be nice to call him. We, we gotta stop being such a jerk to everyone. Thanks, Big B. But as I was saying, he strikes me as the kind of person that would hold something over your head forever. No matter what your slight was against him, he would just continue to extort more and more stuff out of you. Uh, saying like, oh, you owe me for this time. You were such a jerk to me. <laughs> he just strikes me as that kind of person. Yeah, I just have a feeling like it doesn't matter how much you, you how much the wolf has paid him back at this point. It still wouldn't be enough. Of course, I guess he ate his brothers too at some point, didn't he? <laughs> Big B. Snow? Come with me. She looks very professional. Snow. Snow. It's what? If a bit worried. Sorry, I'm... What is it? Where are we going? Out in front of the building. We have to get there. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. That was incredibly awkward. 
These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Yeah, this one looks suspicious at all. <laughs> Nobody will think anything's going on. Oh. What is... An officer jacket? Looks like it. Some form of security at the very least. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working Oh. She got something in her mouth. A woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. Oh. Anyone else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Yeah, we should probably get the head off of the stairs. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Cover her back up with a jacket. <laughs> I can swear she's got something in her mouth. What is? Yeah, let's take this. It's like a slip of paper. It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I, I don't recognize it. She was actually wearing she was actually wearing that ring earlier. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Interesting. Can we look at the no, we can't look at the ring now, I guess. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Um, what, what do you want to do next? I'm going to investigate the grounds a little bit. We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. There's got to be something around here. I thought I saw a blood trail here. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe? My well, head's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> Let's grab us a scrap of fabric. Maybe it came from her clothes. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, everyone wears jeans. Is 
Just some loose trash. Okay. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Is that what we're that's what we're going with? Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yeah, I guess I could have done it. Anyway, can we walk on the grass here? No, I guess we're uh, obey the signs, stay off the grass. And perhaps there is something over here too. Nope, that's as far as I can go, everyone. Well, the last thing I have to do then, I guess, is to actually examine. I didn't actually examine the blood, I just touched it. Maybe it'll tell me something. No, okay, it didn't. <laughs> uh, I thought I saw a... Maybe I just completely... Uh, screwed up uh, what I was looking at, but... Yeah, 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 what's this? Oh, now it's just, just tree roots, I guess? It looked like a... It looked like something else. Nobody there. Weird. You know, I thought I saw security cameras around the premises, but or around the fencing at the very least, but I guess not. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big B, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Because of the bloody fence over there and the trail of the blood trail. Found blood on the fence back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. Well, we can't say that necessarily. They could have went outside, killed her, and jumped the fence to not be I'm walking through the main to entrance. Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll like, just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. Like Ichabod Crane? I know Crane? you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Yeah, if you think about Crane from the story, he's probably very puritanical. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Can do. Poor girl. Anyway. <laughs> uh, we've been recording quite a while for that. So... Uh, next time we'll begin the investigation. It looks like we have a line of suspects lined up. And uh, we'll talk, probably be talking to them next time. So, I'll see you all then.